Hi, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, this reading will be for you. I just did a clearing. Uh, thank you so much for coming into my channel. I'm going to get right down to the meat and potatoes and, and get right into your messages, okay? Stay, stay true to your power, the dark healing chamber. All right, let's see what it says. Forgive my sinuses, my, my, my sound. Oh, I've been trying to clear up my sinuses. I love you guys. Scorpio, you are a sovereign divine being with spiritual authority and freedom within. You do not need permission from anyone to be who you are and live your life as you choose. This is your divine birthright. Guard it as the precious treasure that it is. And remember, you are the divine being, free to be you. I second that for my Scorpios, okay? The other message you got was the, the dark healing chamber. This is very Scorpio-ish, right? The most challenging task is to take courage in both hands and journey within to meet your own dark self and begin the healing task of bringing love, acceptance, and light to it. The sacred purpose of any enemy within or without is to push you to venture inwards, to seek and heal that darkness within. Ooh, that's heavy. But it's psychologically accurate, you know? If you think about it, Scorpio, hi. Your wellness tarot 777 is for Scorpios. If you have Scorpio in this chart, this is for you. Calling in angelic energies. Thanking the Lord for you and the ability to be able to reach you at this time. I'm here to comfort, to encourage, to clarify, to confirm, and bring about synchronicities. Something you've been needing to hear, something Scorpio needs to know. What's going on in the background? Brand new start. That's moving forward towards wish fulfillment. Someone's getting a brand new start. This is Scorpio. Someone's coming towards you. Yeah. Someone's coming towards you. Uh, now, this person might be up in their head. This is a Nine of Swords. They feel like everything around them has just vanished. It's, it's dead. Something has dead, and they're looking for revival. Nine, nine. This could be an Aries coming towards the Scorpio who's in their head. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody that's got head issues like um, mind gaming, right, Scorpio? One moment. Okay. And then you have 21. Okay. 21 is uh, trying to communicate with you after an ending. Could this be a reconciliation for Scorpio? I don't know, babies. Give me one quick second. <clears throat> Sorry. Golly, being a human? It's hard to be a human right now. Let me move these over. I want to free up some space. My beautiful Scorpios, okay? So thank you for letting me uh, come into your living rooms, your cars, your, your wherever you are, my beautifuls, and talk to you. Uh, 21 adds up to 3. And 8 is a, is a, uh, the number of infinity, the number of... This is communicating... From a distance, perhaps. Could be spiritual. Yeah. Someone wants to end something. Or they did end something. But they might come in very hastily. Someone wants to come to you hastily and talk to you. They're full of passion. Um, they could be very much up in their head feeling like, what the hell was that? Um, there is distance between you, and they're trying to communicate. And if, I don't know why. What's going on between? I need to know something. It is someone from your past, Six of Cups. It might be an Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. You're a healer, and they want your healing energy, is what I heard. You, They want your healing energy. They've been out in the cold since you cut them off, and they feel unstable. Anchoring down, right? They feel unstable. Scorpio, you must need to know this. My readings are not gender specific either way, but if it does apply, take what you need and leave the rest. If it doesn't apply, please let it fly. It's for somebody though, or I wouldn't be here. Scorpio, somebody feels very, very unstable at this time. 
and they are indeed if they come to you to cut something off or they got cut off i wonder what we'll find out tell me about this uh anchoring in reverse yeah <clears throat> just one quick second get myself comfortable what is this anchoring in reverse with moving coming towards you put something to death they've been praying uh somebody's been wishing that they could speak to you okay that's very evident yeah clarify it yeah this is someone that you kicked out of your life for a while because you thought they were playing they were just coming and visiting taking advantage of you lying manipulating doing whatever it is they do and leaving you usually they would come at night and visit you right this is very, very distressing energy. No wonder you put it to bed. I'm not kidding. If you did, you did a good thing. Because that's crap to let someone treat you like that. In and out and in and out. Messing with your head. Okay. So, what's going on with this uh, right here? With Scorpio. What is this about? That is the end of a cycle. Yeah, that's movement. Now, that's, um, that's somebody leaving... And going towards their wealth, going towards their stability. Look at this. Who gets this? Look at the mountain on both pictures. You're rising above the mountain, and you're communicating your needs, and you're heading forward. Ah, interesting. Good. Okay. Keep going. Tell me more about Scorpio. Oh, it's a masculine coming into your life. Oh, look at that. This could be you, or this could be someone else, but this is a divine masculine. Um, he's worth waiting for, but why does he sit under that 10 of why it could be a Gem Gemini Libra Aquarius as well. I'm seeing Aquarius possibly in Scorpio. Uh, this person, <clears throat> you have nine, nine, nine in your rating. I don't know if this is you or them. This is a nine of wands. This is a Sagittarius male who wants to come towards someone and um, end to either end this separation with you and negotiate, or maybe you don't even know that they're watching, watching you. They're being real slick. They're being real quiet in the background. They're sneak in and sneak out. This is kind of the same thing. Uh, distrusting, uh, coming in and putting burdens on you. I don't think, maybe it's burdened them. What is that for Scorpio? Yeah, they definitely want to end something or begin something again. Either they ended a chapter or they're beginning a new one. What does that mean to Scorpio? Wow. Wow. You're getting a bridge. It might be what you need to move on towards what makes you really happy. This might be exactly what you need. Um, this is a divine bridge that allows you to move forward where you could not before. Excuse me. They might find out that you're moving and they want to contact you right away. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, King of Cups. Guess why? They believe you're a soulmate twin flame. Mm. Really? Let's look into that person. Why are why what? Scorpio? What? They're coming with flowers. They're coming with flowers. Queen of Queen of Coins. You've been protected and blocked off, or you blocked this person for a reason. The divine has been protecting you and bringing you your blessings. That's what this is, okay? Keep going, spirit. Yep, you're being led into great fortune. You're being led away from, stri uh, from sharp people that are messing with you, people that are sneaking around, people that are watching you, people that are taking advantage of you little by little. You're cutting them all out, and you're clearing the energy so you can get this divine person in your life. Yep, you're about to receive a message from someone. Uh, it's going to come in. I don't know if it's going to come in the mail. Um, it could also be a Leo. 
trying to reach out to you. Let's take a look, Spirit. I'm going to use this deck. This is the deck that I'm doing my tarot training with. So clarify these for me. Show me Scorpio right now. We have Leo. Somebody wants to heal the relationship. That's a reconciliation. It's not a full reconciliation reading, but it is the background of it. Interesting. Show me Scorpio. Queen of Wands, you're busy. You're going about your way. You're trusting your spiritual energy. You're making things happening. You're passionate. You're powerful. And you ain't playing with anybody. She doesn't play. Yep. <clears throat> this is the Four of Wands. You're either moving to this you're moving to this or you're creating this. And this is happiness and joy. This is twin flame energy, if you believe in that. And yes, again, the Prince of Swords. <clears throat> Coming to you to declare something. To come really fast, declare something. Speak a truth. End something or begin something. Now I want to know who that is. Show me. My Scorpios, please. Show me who this is, please, Spirit. Show me who this could be. Wow. Well, look at this. Look at this. We have, um, for some of you, we have the Prince of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heartbroken. Five of Swords. Somebody's heartbroken over competition, over mental mental anguish, over somebody's somebody's truth. They can't live with somebody's truth. They said, that's not my truth. Prince of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, what do they want to say? Scorpio. Thank you so much for hitting the like button, you guys. Thank you, thank you for letting this channel be discovered. By doing that, that's one thing you can do. Uh, if you would like to, you can subscribe and hit the all bell, and then you see everything I put out, okay? Two of Pentacles, this guy was juggling. This person was juggling someone else, and you were like, oh, hell no. You ended it. Yeah, you ended it. Anyone else show up for this particular reading? Eight of Swords. Spiritual jail. Mental jail. Unable to communicate. Can't, couldn't see the forest for the trees. Couldn't see what they had. They decided to mess around with somebody else. They couldn't see what they had. And the devil got a hold of them. Their addictions, their ego, their pride, their uh, lust, whatever it was, it uh, took them away from you and God took you away from them. Yep, absolutely. And now they're out in the cold and they're feeling the loss from you. Five of Pentacles. They could be financially feeling the loss as well, Scorpio. Yeah. They want to come back and say, yes, please, I want to I want to contribute again. I want to grow this again. I want to be loyal again. Again? Were you why were you not loyal in the first place, Taurus Virgo Capricorn? Why? Because they can't be trusted anyway. Look at that. Seven of Swords. They're just devious. Seven of Swords twice. There's devious energy here. I don't know if you should trust it. Who else is coming towards Scorpio? The sun, here it is again, Leo. Leo thinks you're a soulmate, okay? They believe you're a soulmate of theirs. Are you getting along with this Leo? Three of Wands. Yeah, there might be hope for this Leo relationship. There might be. There's something building in there. But no. It's more likely that you're just going to let it go and walk away. This is the Eight of Cups. Now, this may or may not apply to you. Please don't take it if, if you don't think that it applies to you, okay? All right. So this is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces leaving a Leo. Um, why? Because they're deceitful. They gossip. They backstab. They compare. They share with other people. Uh, you have two of them in your experience. You have someone with Earth in their chart, and then you have this Leo. Yes, yeah. Leo. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Tell me more. Who else is coming towards Scorpio? Ooh, money's coming to you. Wealth, a lot of it. Ooh, baby, a lot of it. Something's coming. 
Yep, and it's your destiny too, Scorpio. You're about to get this destiny. Yep, it's going to make you rejoice and be very, very happy. And you can finally put this shit to death. You can finally put the past behind you and get on with loving. There could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yep, Spirit says, yep, you've seen everything you need to see. You know everything you need to know. Don't hold on to the past. Just let it go. Let us guide you with the Holy Spirit. Let us make sure that you get victory in your relationships. And if you need to cut somebody off, cut them off. God says he'll take care of the relationship but and protect you. All things with love. Yeah. And <clears throat> there's someone in your experience that they didn't even know that they didn't even know that you were offering them permanent love. And they didn't show love back. Six of Cups in reverse. They're they're all up in their head. And they're very impatient to get with you and discuss this. Yeah, but you're not, you don't want to work with them. Eight of Pentacles is working hard on something, focusing. You don't want to work with that person. So who will you work with? Magician, some of you are working with a Gemini or you're master creating. King of Wands, where are we at? Where did I find that? Queen of Wands. So you're sitting in the King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and you're attracting a King of Wands energy. Um, this is a, a, a union of like minds, active people, people that get things done. Either you have the Aries Leo Sagittarius in your chart, or you are working towards meeting one and hermit. Virgo energy, someone who is very brilliant. You also have someone coming to you. Oh, and a star. Oh, my God. Scorpio. <clears throat> Magician and the star. Shit. And, the, and, the, and this. And the Queen of Cups. Aquarius. Or you are a healer. The alchemist. Transforming negative energy into the positive energy. Definitely a Scorpio quality. Seeing the truth, speaking the truth, getting sudden revelations, talking to God, being cutting off negative energy and living in your heart space, rejoicing, enjoying your enjoying your new blessings that are coming into you. You got a queen of pentacles um, who wants to bring you finance and money and it's your destiny. All right. And it looks good. You have to walk away from anything that holds you back anything my beautiful Scorpios all right with that information I'm going to quickly look at you and all other signs and then I'm I will take let me do some love messages here though Scorpio that was weird and there's a lot of people here God has provided a bridge for you to leave negative energy and to reinvent yourself so you can get with this divine being and not this who is a star in God's eyes, yeah, bringing offers and not this uh, crooked one that's sneaking around behind your back all the time or sneaking around in your energy field. Uh, they don't, you know, if they don't have permission, they don't have permission. And that's completely up to you, Scorpios. Thank you, honeys, for all the love and gifts. Um, I am setting up my tarot training course if you're interested. Okay, so you're retreating and pulling back from anything that is off, anything that is not um, fulfilling your needs. That's, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. Maybe you met somebody and you will be retreating with them. Yeah. And expressing love. Some of you are in the process of calling in your soulmate. You're doing this on purpose. So I, I promise you, you're doing the energy work you will receive. The blessings okay Scorpio let's take a look at you and all other signs Scorpio and Aries to begin so how are you getting along with Scorpio and Aries it's the 7th of November I tried to get this reading up uh, earlier in the day but I was busy uploading other stuff I've got three channels Robin's Realm readings Dove and Crow and your wellness here of seven seven I'm about to conduct a um, Patreon meeting with my members who support my work. 
and they're getting a gift this month. You can also support me there as well as still me. It's just a different channel. This is a gift I'm giving away to my members. This is um, the Thunderbird. Com they are completely custom made by my friend Vanessa Kamara. She has a ton of those fantastic earrings. Thunderbird is going to free somebody. It's for freedom. Spirit, clarify. Scorpio and all other signs. Let me do three more shuffles. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. You know, sometimes when you're reading, declare it out loud what you're doing. Like I'll say Scorpio. Scorpio lovers, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Show me Scorpio. Scorpio. Show me Scorpio's energy at this time. Show me Scorpio. Okay, one more. Scorpio. Aries to Pisces. Okay, let's do it. Give me a quick second. Mm. <clears throat> All right, my fabulous Scorps. Ready? Aries, the Emperor. But of course it is. How do they feel about you? Temperance, they're patient and they're waiting on you. They can't wait to be with you. Um, this is someone that's Emperor's Aries energy, and they are, they could be wealthy. They could be well off. They could be in control of a lot of responsibilities, a business perhaps, uh, in a very high position. This is a very important person because they answer to God as well as this one. So I like this Aries. What are they most likely to do? Ooh. They're not telling you that they have something in the works for you. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to leave that at that, okay? Taurus and Scorpio, the star in reverse, and the Eight of Cups leaving, left, gone. That could be that earth sign that I was just reading about for you. A Taurus said uh, a little, um, they made a mistake. They, they let their... Um, they let greed take over the relationship and sneakiness, and you're like, I'm done. Yeah. Yep, they're blocked. You might have done that yourself. Scorpio and Gemini. Ah, oh, working together. Hard work, working on the relationship, maybe at work. Six of Pentacles in reverse. There's a problem with money. Or, or something back and forth between you. What does it mean? Seven of Wands in reverse. You know, you need to watch yourself and your money with this uh, Gemini. They could be someone from your past. Yeah. I don't know. You'll have to tell me. All right. Scorpio and Cancer. The Alchemist is in reverse. The Magician's in reverse. That is usually bad magic. Prince of Cups. There's a cancer in the background that is incredibly psychotic, Scorpio. There, there's a cancer here that's psychotic over you, and they're doing magic over you. What does that mean? They're, uh, they're going to pay for that spiritually. They could be in jail. You need to end this as quickly as you can with this cancer person. There's something going on with cancer. If you think you're in a relationship with a cancer that might be doing black magic on you, please reach out to me. I'll do a reading for you. All right? Oh, God. Leo and Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Non-committal, non-connected, but in love. What? Clarify. Prince of Wands. This Leo loves you, but they're afraid to commit to you. Yeah, the sun is in reverse. They're not they're not coming in to heal the relationship. They're heartbroken. Yeah, they're still they're in a pity party is what this is. Virgo and Scorpio. Hangman, on hold, stagnant, not moving. 
the tower is in reverse because of something that happened between you in the past. And the king of pentacles in reverse. Absolutely disloyal. They're not loyal to you. Libra, five of pentacles coming out of the cold to get victory with you. Uh, Venus is in Libra tomorrow. Um, yeah, starting, I think, tomorrow, November 8th, by the time you get this reading. Venus will be in Libra, and that means that you can enjoy, be, be do nurturing things, be, do loving things, have some fun. Yeah. Um, and the, but the thing about this relationship, it's not built on stability, so you might want to be very careful with that. Libra, um, and then Scorpio, we have the Hierophant, the <clears throat> energy of being very traditional, very planned, very uh, faith-oriented, um, marriage-minded, and Princess of Wands. So somebody wants to come forward to you, and I don't like this person. There's a Scorpio coming towards a Scorpio or doing something to a Scorpio in the background. The Five of Swords in reverse is someone who's completely, completely competitive over faith and religion. And what is it they want to do? Queen of Cups in reverse. This is a real hateful person. I don't know why they're like this. This particular Scorpio, I'm sorry, you guys. This particular Scorpio is a burden. Hold on. I got a problem with my cords, sorry. They're burdened by your faith. They're burdened by what you do. Okay, what are you gonna do about that? Three of Cups, you're not gonna you're not gonna deal with them. Yeah. Sagittarius and Scorpio, Ace of Wands, a brand new start, passion, but somebody can't see it. Somebody can't see that. And the death is in reverse. They only want sex, they don't want a relationship. Capricorn and Scorpio, five of wands, competition energy, um, emotional energy all over the place, listening to other people's opinions, um, princess of cups in reverse, they're not making any kind of reconciliation offer, three of wands, they don't see any point in it, yep, you're not, something doesn't make them happy, Aquarius and Scorpio, the fool, brand new start, and the Empress. Someone's Empress is probably an Aquarius. She could be the mother of the children. Um, she wants to come forward and put down some burdens, okay? Pisces, the chariot moving right towards you or moving away from you. King of Wands in reverse, moving away and feeling sorry, heartbroken. Ten of, Pen Ten of Swords is in reverse, the ending of that relationship because they juggled with somebody else, Scorpio. And your advice, stay in prayer with the Most High. Stay in connection to your divine. Ask every single minute, who should I be dealing with and who should I not? There are very few people in here that are worthy of your time. Gemini seem to be fair, but you have to watch your pocketbook, okay, with the Gemini. Uh, but that's kind of what I got. So what else does Scorpio need to know? Talk about money real quick. How does money look for Scorpio in the next five days? Good. Good. Stay in the stay in the limelight. If you're in the limelight, do it. Stay in the limelight. Six of Cups. You may be getting money from someone in the past who held back from you. What does this mean for Scorpio? Money financially. Happiness, joy, nine of nine of pent, nine of cups, alchemy, making things happen. It could be a Gemini helping you make money, um, and that's the truth. Spirit says. So seek peace and pursue it. Seek you know keep working, keep working on yourself. Um, be very careful. Um, you're going to be extremely happy pretty soon. Yep, and there's a horror font, and there's the Ace of Cups again. So Scorpio, this looks really really good. I do not know how it applies to you. I hope it does. It's a fantastic reading. It covers a lot of different energies. The word for those who love the word. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. 
He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. Psalm 62, 6. Obviously, that's the Lord, right? If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. John 15, 10. So those are your messages, and I hope that they benefit you. If you'd like to donate to the channel, there's a Venmo uh, link down there. Or there's other links related to my other channel, how you can bless me, if you feel that way. Um, if you'd like to have your own personal reading, well, then just reach out. You have my email in the box below, and you also have um, access to me there, okay? I love you. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thank you so much for being here. May the angels guide and protect you, my fabulous Scorpios. Namaste, beautifuls.